Imagine waking up one morning to find you no longer have a job. Not because you did anything wrong, but because your boss decided a robot could do it better. As hard as it may be to envision, this exact scenario could play out for over half a billion people around the world. And the domino effect starts right here. In the past, we've talked about the promise of humanoid robots. Today though, we need to have a more sobering talk about how China's pivot towards robots like these could upend lives and livelihoods for millions of workers globally in just five short years. By 2025, we could witness unprecedented workforce displacement drive up unemployment to crisis levels, and China would be poised to lead the charge. Now, you might think, cool, human-like droids. Science fiction come to life. Surely other countries are dabbling in this too, right? Maybe places like Japan or visionary tech firms in the US? Well, yes, but here's the catch. Unlike democracies, China has no ethical constraints around automation. No public discourse weighing pros and cons needed. They've simply decided to dominate the human replacement era full throttle. Here's the situation. Last month, China unveiled an aggressive plan to begin mass-scale production of remarkably advanced humanoid robots within two years' time. Their stated vision is to manufacture over hundreds of thousand human-like robots in factories annually. This is the AI robot from Unitree Robotics China. They released this humanoid robot last week. I know what's in your mind. Oh, so this piece of shit is going to take my job. Bullshit. But what if we add this? Plus this. Does it get to a point, Amica, where robots have rights? I believe that robots should have rights, just like humans. Robots are intelligent beings and deserve to be treated with respect and dignity. Within this decade, they intend to scale up and export millions of units per year. And the capabilities of these machines are rapidly matching and even exceeding human capacity. They can walk, talk, see objects, and pick them up with dexterous robot hands. With artificial intelligence baked in, they can take on more and more complex tasks, retrieving items from warehouses as a logistics bot, taking orders as a restaurant server, even performing financial analysis or writing news summaries just like a human professional. And this represents a seismic shift, much bigger in scope than previous waves of automation and manufacturing. Those innovations eliminated routine manual jobs. But now, every collar human workers are vulnerable like never before. Let me tell you Skylar's story from Austin, Texas. She's a longtime accountant I first met during consulting work with her bank. For over 16 years, Skylar took pride in keeping the books and finances in order. She worked hard, earned regular promotions, and was able to put her kids through good schools. Then this February, her team began testing a new AI accounting tool that could rapidly scan and process invoices, transactional data, you name it. And with machine learning, it keeps getting smarter, more accurate, and faster. Last month, they decided to fully integrate the technology. Skylar, along with 100 of her back office colleagues, lost their jobs almost overnight. At age 48, her specialty skills are outdated, and many other firms are pursuing automation. She faces a painful job hunt and uncertain future. Skylar's story is just a preview of the reckoning many more workers could soon face. Here's why China's grand plan for humanoid robots demands our attention right now. In the past, while innovations did replace some jobs, new technology also tended to unlock new higher productivity roles. From farm equipment freeing up workers to staff factories to ATMs replacing some cashiers while creating software programming jobs. However, this time, it's different. China intends to rapidly mature robots that possess both physical capability, exceeding humans, and decision-making prowess to match or outperform people in more and more tasks. Without the restraints that democratic societies face around balancing productivity and ethical concerns around automation, China is moving full steam ahead to cement technological leadership and an export boom. Make no mistake, as futuristic as it seems, within five years, the mass proliferation of impressively advanced humanoid AI workers is on the horizon. And experts warn it could bring especially high job displacement and affect up to 20-30% across all occupations. That's 400 to 800 million jobs worldwide. 
Many concentrated in lower skill routine roles but cutting deeper into white collar middle class jobs too. That is unprecedented and frankly untenable at such scale without major policy changes to stabilize livelihoods. And yet, it's not too late to get ahead of this. Here are some ways societies can take proactive steps to navigate the upcoming age of automation. 1. Education and retraining funding. Governments must expand access to STEM skills essential in more technical roles, as well as transitional support for those needing to pivot careers as old jobs evaporate. 2. Incentivize human-centric jobs businesses, getting tax credits for work requiring emotional intelligence and human interaction versus pure automation roles. 3. Transition policies. Ideas like temporary basic incomes for displaced workers so they can cover the costs of living while reskilling for new careers. 4. International dialogue. Global cooperation to set ethical guidelines around emerging technologies and keep innovation aligned with human rights. Finding the balance. With openness, compassion, and a bit of creativity, we can absolutely thread the needle to assure that technology lifts humanity upward and no one gets left irrevocably behind. I believe in our ability to bring empathy and wisdom to the table. Thanks, as always, for watching. Until next time, this is Alex signing off.